The 3-3 three three Arizona State Sun Devils travel on the road to face the undefeated number one ranked Oregon Ducks and coach UCLA 13, USC 9. And we have a big announcement. Arizona State head coach, Coach Hurricane, has decided to bench Brock Osweiler in favor of the senior Joe Erguin this afternoon. We'll see how that pays off. ASU's first possession, Mike Willie gets the catch from Aragwin for a first down across midfield. And now third and four out of the single back formation. Aragwin finds his tight end, Trevor Cole, who's going to get inside the Oregon 15-yard line. And now second and 13, Aragwin goes back to Cole. Great block by the tight end. 7-0 Sun Devils. They take the lead here early in Oregon. And now their next possession, TJ Simpson makes a catch over the middle to convert on third down across the 40-yard line, and now DeAndre Lewis going in motion on third down. Aragwin sees the mismatch. The veteran quarterback hits the backup running back for the touchdown. ASU coming out, guns blazing, and Oregon doesn't even know what hit him. Oregon trying to get some offense going. LaMichael James takes the handoff out of the gun, and he turns on the Jets, and he's going to go all the way to the 12-yard line. The Heisman candidate getting Oregon some momentum. Now Ken John Barner's just going to Punch it in from a couple yards out. They cut the lead in half now, 7-14. to 14. Darren Thomas now on third and five. He hits his receiver, Josh Huff, on the slant for a first down. Third and goal now. Michael James takes the jet sweep, and he's going to score a touchdown. His first on the day, 14-14. We got a tie ball game. But ASU says, hey, there's still 16 seconds left on the clock. We can still do something with this. T.J. Simpson catches the ball. He gets close to midfield there to the 48-yard line, eight seconds before the half. And then Eric Wynn hits DeAndre Lewis. He's going to get to about the 30-yard line, setting up a field goal attempt. And it is good. ASU going into the half with a three-point lead. Oregon would get the ball to open up the second half. Ken John Barner returning from his two-yard line. He takes the kickoff. He's got a group of blockers up in front of him. He goes up past the 20, but he's stripped on the play. ASU picks it up, and they would punch it in here from the one-yard line. Josh Fulton goes in easy. Touchdown, ASU. They're up 24-14. Darren Thomas out of the gun now, trying to cut into this lead. He doesn't like what he sees, so he takes off. He goes up past midfield, gets the first down. He's going to go all the way to the 27-yard line. Good pickup there by the quarterback. And now on 2nd and 12, LaMichael James takes the handoff, and he's so fast, he just turns the corner like it's nothing, and he gets a first down. And on 3rd and 7, they decide to give it back to James, but ASU is not going to fall for it. They get him in the backfield, and they would have to sell for a field goal. Next drive, LaMichael James takes the handoff, and this time ASU strips it, picked up by Clint Floyd. Big play in the 4th quarter. ASU now working on 4th and 4. Aaron Flugrad makes a nice catch on fourth down to convert, extending this drive for Arizona State. And on third down, Marshall takes the counter. He's going to go up past the 15. Another big first down for the Arizona State Sun Devils, trying to kill this clock. Cameron Marshall takes the first down handoff. He's going to go ahead for a big nine yards there, making second down a little bit easier. Then on third and one, DeAndre Lewis in motion. He takes the jet sweep. He's going to follow his blockers for a touchdown. ASU up 31-17. to And the ensuing kickoff, Ken John Barner looking for some retribution. Takes it from the four-yard line. Following his blockers up the left side, he's going to make a couple of nice cuts at the 40-yard line. He is stripped once again. ASU recovers, and now they just got to kill the rest of this clock. Brock Osweiler has to check back into the game, and he gets the first down to Kyle Middlebrooks on the option, and then they would kneel down the rest of this clock, and ASU comes in with a new quarterback, a new game plan, and they beat the Oregon Ducks, the number one ranked team in the nation, no more. They dropped a 6-1, and one, and Arizona State moves up to 4-3, and three, a huge game for them as they look to contend for a major bowl game at the end of the season. Arizona State has the bye week upcoming, and Coach Hurricane has to decide whether he wants to stick with the senior Joe Erguin, who picked up a win in his only start of the season, or if he wants to revert back to the struggling Brock Osweiler. Subscribe to my channel and follow me on the social networks. And I'll keep you guys posted for when the next episode's going to be coming.